is your body next to me on rainy Hi guys, we're starting today's Chumas with a little shopping snippet. I did go to Celine to check out the Mini 16s and they had this beautiful pastel yellow and this kind of taupey beige color. I don't know if this beige is the same one as the one online, but this yellow is absolutely, it's just perfect. Do you see the shade of pastel on this? It's stunning. And then as I was waiting for my essay to grab a bag that I was looking at, I saw this on the shelf and I think this is so so cute it definitely reminds me of the speedy bb in lambskin if you guys remember it was the black with the gold hardware and kind of like the cylindrical strap i really really like this the size of this everything this is basically a small boston bag but this style instead of canvas honestly trying on this bag really kind of made me second guess on getting the mini 16 just because it looks so cute on it seems super easy to use but the essay did tell me that this leather does scratch pretty Pretty easily and it'll get more slouchy apparently because it's a really soft calfskin leather it's buttery soft and they also had this color in tan which I loved so this is the bag that she had on hold for me apparently the white one which is the color rice is actually limited edition just for this season oh it looks so good this Japanese youtuber that I follow has this bag and I was so set on the black one but now I truly can't decide between the white and the black just oh gosh the size of these two bags are so adorable my only worry with the color rice is because it's white and it doesn't have feet the mini 16 does not have feet i would get pretty worried about setting it down and then just to compare sizes i did try on the size up which is the small size and i actually love this size i love this size so much I, do you see how big and comfortable the handle is i honestly want to add a small one truly i do Alrighty, so here's me trying on the white one you can see with the strap so the strap is not adjustable uh, for a reference I am 5'3 but it just falls really nicely on me I oh I really really like this rice color I think it's so cute and the fact that it's limited edition makes me want it more and then in true Maggie fashion I can't go to Celine and not try on a new Ava bag so this is their canvas with the print Celine on it I didn't know how I felt about it at first, but after having it on, I actually like the beige black font and the brown leather. I think it looks cute. And then after I tried on the bags, I did smell all their new candles and I actually want both of these candles. I couldn't decide between these two, but these two are definitely my favorite. They're amazing. Hi guys, so we are back home. I just finished taking a shower and I put on a mask. And I thought I would actually show you guys my favorite blush products because I just finished, I don't know about you guys, but I multitask when I put on my mask. So I just finished kind of organizing my makeup area and I thought I tried to start this kind of like, let me show you my makeup collection, but in parts in like the beginning of when I first started vlogging ever on my channel and that just didn't fly well. So since blush is all the rage now, I thought I would show you guys my favorite blushes. So not my entire blush collection, but the blushes that are kind of in my everyday rotation which is actually a good amount so let's go let's go hey siri turn light on Alrighty. okay so this is kind of the overview of my makeup area this is it being tidy this is still kind of dirty i'm sorry if the lighting isn't good just because it is nighttime so this is the majority of my makeup i do have more makeup in the white drawers behind me but these are kind of like my favorites so this is my celine vanity case so let me take everything out here and like my rare beauty blushes and then i'm going to take out the blushes in here that i really like Alrighty, so these are the blushes that I have. I'm going to show you guys. I wish it was brighter. Yeah, unfortunately. So these are my kind of everyday ones. And then I'm not counting palettes because I do have a lot of palettes here. Like this Alamar Cosmetics blush palette that... What's her name? Mm, I forgot who. Uh, Amanda Diaz loves that one. I have that. So I have more palettes here. So these are just kind of like my singles ones that I like. So here we go. So I guess I'm just going to go by brand. I'm going to start with the Clinique blushes. These ones were really, really popular back in the day. I've had these for such a long time, I don't even want to tell you. It's embarrassing. Ironically, the color that I've had the longest, which is this one, uh, this one is in Ginger Pop, Nude Pop, and then Melon Pop. I would say Melon Pop is my most used one, and then Nude Pop, obviously you guys can see, is my second. And then this was the one that started the addiction, but it's still really pretty. I think I'm going to use this one more now, just because back then I was into more like natural nudie blushes, but these are this ones. I honestly want to get more of these, 
I don't need them so I'm just gonna ask for like birthday presents but yeah I want to collect more colors because I really really love the gelée formula on this or the baked blush okay the next ones I'm gonna do matte so these are my newest ones so this one is Lovejoy that I bought because of a Filipina youtuber that I follow this is her everyday makeup blush so I bought it and then this is the new warm soul if you guys really like MAC makeup warm soul is an OG but this is the reformulated one unfortunately and then I I have this one which is like a really bright pink as you guys can see and it's called look don't touch it's part of the black cherry collection i i basically bought it for the packaging but this blush is actually really pretty i usually wear this during the spring and summertime and then i have two more mac blushes that i really like so this one is broken because i depotted it but this is mac melba it used to be in the single and then i kind of forced it to be depotted and then this one i believe is i forgot what it's called i'll put the name right over here it's like sun bisque or something like that but it's like a burnt orange okay so we have a couple singles so i have this buxom one i remember when these blushes first came out i only have one of these but i actually do want two more just because i love the formula of this this honestly is basically a dupe for the charlotte tilbury pillow talk which i also have i have both of them so when i swatch them next to each other they're so similar and this is in the color seychelles i also bought this influencer purchased because a uh, Raimi she did an ad video with this and i just love her makeup look in the video so i bought the blush as well well, and then this is the M Cosmetics Magic Hour. I honestly bought this one purely because I thought from pictures that this was going to be the old MAC Warm Soul. It is not. This is very, very light. I don't know. When I see people put apply this, it honestly looked so similar to the old formulation but no this is very very light i want the other colors i really want the color barack if they have another sale i'm gonna buy the shade barack if they still have it and then i have a cover effects blush duo this one is in the shade pink dahlia really really pretty i remember when this was really popular too do you see how easily influenced i am but yeah this one's pretty as well and then another duo is the patrick ta one this is in the shade she's so la uh, I know that this shade and I think it's like She's So Bronzed was very popular like this kind of dusty brown blush color this one I bought because of Whitney Simmons and I actually do like the cream topper I actually really really like this almost done <laughs> the last two powder blushes in my rotation is of course the Dior blushes I don't know if I featured it in a vlog but I did buy the orange one recently so this is the pink one and then the coral one these ones have I think it's like your pH balance or something like that like the pink one adjusts and then the orange one adjusts but it's like they adjust differently I don't know so now we have the cream blush so I have this Sandy Cheeks, the Melt Cosmetics. I use this one in my video. I really like this. It's like a really nice like orange, like a really nice orange. I love, love, love this. And then this one is the Fenty Beauty in Summertime Wine. I actually just recently started using this a lot. Ever since I saw the whole I'm cold makeup trend, this is the blush that I use when I do that makeup look, which I really, really like. And then I have two uh, rose ink blushes. This is the color Heliotrope that I actually got for a Christmas present, which I love, love, love. And then I also have the color Foxglove, which I thought was the most popular. So these are the shades right over here. I think I want one more color in this. Not again, I don't need it at all, but just if, you know, if anyone wants to get me a gift. But yeah, it's so cute. I love it. And these are refillable too. And then lastly are my Rare Beauty blushes. And then I guess I'll just show the wands that I have as well. So I have the Charlotte Tilbury in peach gasm and pink gasm i even have a backup of the pink gasm because i got it as a christmas present <laughs> so because at one point or another these were so hard to get like they were always always sold out and then i have my rare beauty blushes i have four of them so i have the color happy which is like that vibrant pink one that everybody had and then i have the color joy this is the one that selena gomez really liked i feel like these two are like the most popular shades and then her newer shade collection I have Encourage, which is like that mauve color. I actually, I don't know, I feel like this is too mauve for my liking. I actually do use this a lot, but 
it's more just because I bought it. This is the dewy formulation as well, I believe, not the matte one. So all three of these, I believe, are the dewy formulations. And then this one is the only matte one. It's the color Bliss. So I bought this trio set. I don't know when. I don't know if it was like spring, summer, or whatever. So the color that I really want them to make is... So Hope. I have the mini one in Hope that I feel like is so, so popular. But I want them to come out with Peace in a big size then i would buy it it's like i can't even describe it it's like a a very light nudie peach color that i just just really really like see uh, you can't even tell but it's just so pretty i really like this so the moment they come out of full size of this one i'm gonna buy this one Alrighty, so those are Okay, so those are all my blushes that are in my everyday rotation. I know it's a lot. I feel like everybody's been loving blush. It's not a new thing. Oh, actually, uh, this palette, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is an old palette as well. It's the Kathleen Lights ColourPop palette. I actually use this one a lot, especially the highlighter in this. I really, really like. Because she had like the Zodiac Collection eyeshadow palette, which I do also have. And then she came out with blushes. But I love this blush palette. Like, love, love, love. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go wash my face. Oh, also, I want to show you guys. This was also a Christmas present for my best friend. It's a Majuri necklace. Um, even though I love like Tiffany and Cartier and stuff like that, Majuri is one of my favorite brands. Like, I love, love their jewelry. The first time I wore or even heard about them was like way back in the day when Jen M had her collection. And I bought two of her necklaces. I'm gonna like put a picture of it. But it sucks because the both of the things that I bought like really tarnished poorly but that's because one of them was sterling silver and the other other piece was gold vermeil and then even though their whole marketing thing is like how gold vermeil is like really good quality or whatever it still tarnishes so i only buy their 14 karat gold pieces but i have so many majuri pieces i wanna i want them to sponsor me so bad <laughs> but that's never gonna happen but it's fine i'm a diehard buyer Okay guys, so it is currently the middle of the night and I just realized that I got my Amazon package so I'm actually going to organize the computer area downstairs. It's a mess, <laughs> like a mess, but I thought I would show you guys kind of just a quick before and after. Probably won't show you guys the process just because again it is nighttime so the lighting is just terrible. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so this is our sad computer area. So I'm honestly just going to organize this side this is going to be the before and yeah there's a lot of dust a lot of things i need to throw away Alrighty, guys so this is the finished desk i definitely need a new lamp this is just so old no joke this lamp is easily like 20 plus years old because my family doesn't throw away anything but i moved some of my acrylic stuff so i have like pens and pencils i'm gonna put like extra tape i have the scotch tape in my room because i was wrapping presents and then this is just you know box cutters and then extra mouses because i did use this mouse instead but look how clean it is i definitely want to add something here i just put a notepad temporarily just in case if i want to write like grocery list or to-do list and then i did buy this really cute calendar from Daiso so I thought I would put this up up there just temporarily I think that's how you do it like this and then I'm just gonna put it right up here for right now so then when the year starts we can just start xing it out but yes i'll keep you guys posted if there's anything else um please ignore my dogs they are growling and then this is the new sunrise uh grape jasmine tea i bought it yesterday and then this is it was my backup drink so now i can drink it in the morning just because i fell asleep yesterday while i was cleaning but yes okay guys you can end my vlog so kettle say thank you for watching Thank you for watching. And Dior goes, if you like the video, please thumbs up and subscribe. Okay, no one's paying attention. <laughs> Alrighty, bye.